Hey everybody, Justin here with Treading Dirt Southwest. Thank you so much for watching. This video is going to be about the log periodic from Create. Now this log periodic covers 105 to 1300 megahertz. All the hand bands from two meter to 23 centimeter does so with a two or lower SWR. And the best part, you should be able to get away with this in plain sight even if you have an HOA. Now, you know I don't like wasting your time, so we're gonna jump right into it. Let's get started. Before we get into the performance of the antenna, let's talk about how it's HOA resistant. What exactly do I mean by that? So contrary to popular belief, there really are no federal protections for HOA and ham antennas. So if you're a ham and you want an antenna that's not in your attic, you know, it's up in the clear, you've got some height, you want maybe a rotator, there's really not a lot you can do. However, there is something called OTARD, uh, which is over the air reception device rule. And it started in 1996 and it's been updated a few times. Basically it covers you for whether you rent or own in an HOA for over the air TV uh, antennas, satellite dishes or uh, data antennas. And that's what I'm calling it. Uh, it this antenna does technically cover some of the TV uh, stations. It frequencies. It does look like a TV beam. I drove around my neighborhood looking at my neighbor's roofs. Several of them have gaudy beams on their on their eaves or their roof for TV. I point it west when I'm not using it, which is towards the TV transmitters. Um, and so that's why I'm saying this antenna really is HOA resistant, unless you think they're going to climb on your roof with a tape measure to see if it exceeds maximum size because it does a little bit, or they're going to walk into your house to see if it's hooked up to a TV. Uh, which you probably could, right, just to get away with it. Um, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I've not heard of that happening. It hasn't happened to me, and I'm in a strict HOA. I've had it up for months. And so, again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not president of your HOA association. But I really do think that uh, my experience and the experience of others that I know with this antenna uh, should really ring true for most, and you can get away with having this antenna. So now that we talked about the how, let's talk about what a log periodic is super fast, and we'll also go over its performance. So a log periodic is similar to a bunch of two or three element Yagi's all kind of rolled into one. So maybe at the expense of a little bit of gain, um, you're, you're getting that very large uh, bandwidth and that usable frequency range. So this one, like I said, covers a huge swath. You're getting two meter, 1.25 meter, 70 centimeter, 33 centimeter, and 23 centimeter and it works really well. This antenna has a gain of around 11 to 13 dBi above average ground, depending on the band. The front to back ratio is 15 dB, and the half power point is 70 to 60 degrees, which looks something like this on a map with uh, compass headings. Uh, the SWR, like I said, is 2.0 or less, and the power rating is 500 watts. The boom length is about 1.4 meters long, element length, uh, max is about the same at 1.45 meters. It weighs around six pounds and can survive wind up to 90 miles an hour. I've had this through a couple of dust and rainstorms, thunderstorms in Phoenix. We've had uh, quite the monsoon season this year and it survived no problem at all. Uh, in the real world use, um, I've had this antenna, like I said, for months. I've been very impressed with it. I regularly attend weekly SSB nets on two meter, 1.25 meter and 1296 and I'm regularly able to contact and hear stations 100 plus miles away, uh, sometimes as far as Lake Havasu from my QTH, which is over 180 miles away. Uh, made it to Prescott using a knife edge diffraction, and then was able to bounce a signal off of a mountain uh, with a cliff face 22 miles to the northeast of me, refract that signal south another 75 80 miles to a station in tucson and hold a conversation and this was all done with 10 watts so this antenna is definitely up to par uh, it would be great for the annual ssb contest that we have on vhf and up uh, nets what have you it's fantastic all right so as i leave you with this antenna rotating on the yesu 450 hope everybody enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments please do so below please know that i am not affiliated with any of these companies that we talked about today have a wonderful day